the world has had its problems since time immemorial and uh, various countries react to various world issues in different ways and uh, just to give an example when uh, a poor man needs help you will see that even poor people do not sometimes they don't support that poor person and if it happens that there is a rich capable person trying to help that poor person the rich person will have some kind of interest that they want to uh, fulfill for themselves same thing applies to nations it means that when uh, poor nations have problems uh, they are on their own to the most part and when when rich nations have, have uh, problems you find that other rich nations will come together and uh, provide support provide facilities that will help these countries to get out of whatever situation that they are in look at what's happening in haiti haiti is having problems uh, you see that uh, countries that should chip in and promote stability in this country are not giving a clear direction but when you look at other things happening in Israel Palestine Palestinians and uh, Ukraine versus Russia you can see a different wave of how uh, different countries are reacting to these situations so developing nations have to open their eyes and realize that they are on their own and they have to implement ways to solve their problems because they are on their own and uh, even if we had interventions from outside countries those interventions do not align with the cultures of those countries so it's imperative that uh, countries come up with policies on how to manage issues whenever they come up so that they they they, they implement solutions that resonate with those people in their countries because even if we have external help to solve our internal problems those solutions are just for a short while and then we go back to the drawing board but if we have solutions that are steered by our own people that understand our cultures understand our political economic systems and understand our histories then we'll have long lasting solutions to our problems so i'm speaking to leaders of developing countries we have to understand that uh, civil wars uh, violence political deceit corruption bribery all these things are killing the future of our young people the future of our nations so let us be mindful that nobody cares in fact ask yourself where do the weapons come from because the most developing nations do not don't have the capability to uh, manufacture firearms and uh, ammunition these things come from somewhere 
And these are the people you are expecting to come in and help you to solve your problems. It's never going to work. We have to understand that we are on our own and we need to find solutions that resonate with our cultures, economies and political landscape.